Hey, it's Kyle from Growing Up Garden. Today I wanted to give you guys an update on how the garden's doing. I have a few new things that I've added to the garden. And I'm also going to be harvesting my first zucchinis from the garden. So let's go check it out. So before we start the video, I wanted to ask you for a huge favor. Can you please subscribe to my channel? It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out a lot. All right, so here is the garden. I added a few windmills recently to the garden. It gives it a kind of a cool look. Now my wife picked up these at a, a yard sale for uh, really cheap. So I mounted one on the tomato uh, trellis. I've got one in the ground next to the zucchini plants. That's a sunflower uh, windmill. I've got one mounted on the melon trellis and this one really uh spins man it goes so fast it starts just, like shaking the whole thing might have to do a little bit more reinforcing maybe <laughs> yeah they look pretty cool my neighbor even likes them <laughs> and then i've got one in the pepper bed and i also want to show you guys what's going on with the plants I recently planted this uh, polonia tree, finally got it in the ground. And this is actually supposed to be the fastest growing tree or one of the fastest growing trees. Um, in three years, this tree is supposedly supposed to be 25 to 30 feet tall, like almost, you know, full grown. It's a pretty amazing tree. So let's uh, go back to the garden. So my beans have recently uh, started to, they just started to climb. And uh, in the, it's in the nick of time because I just added this uh, remesh wire to the trellis or the pergola uh, because I've been so busy with everything else in my life. <laughs> so there's the beans. These are the good mother stoddard beans. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And uh, I've never had them before, so I'm looking forward to trying those out this year. Uh, my kagutsa gourds are getting to the point where they're going to start climbing as well. And uh, can't wait to see what this looks like once everything's uh, growing up over it. Um, in my past episode, I had just finished the irrigation system. And uh, today I actually added uh, these tubes going up to these plants. So that while we're gone on, uh, you know, vacations that, uh, you know, all the plants can get watered and uh, we don't have to come out here and water them by hand, which is a, you know, really nice thing to have is, to, you know, get an irrigation system in uh, so you don't have to spend your whole morning watering the garden. It, uh, it can be quite time consuming. And I don't think uh, watering by hand actually does as good a job as uh you know the, the irrigation system the irrigation system really soaks that water into the ground nice and slowly when you when you water by hand you get a lot of runoff and it just doesn't soak in as as good so i want to take you you guys over to the the fence uh, originally i planted a bunch of uh, malbar spinach i think I, well not a bunch but i put um every like every pole i put a handful of malbar spinach se seeds and then i planted um yard long beans in between and a bunch of the beans came up in this area uh, but then uh, a lot of them died and i got a bunch of like pest damage on the beans i'll show you these are the original ones i planted and uh, some critter is out here chewing on these <laughs> and uh, really uh, screwing them up so recently i ended up planting just a ton of uh beans in piles as like a backup plan just to try to get you know something growing on this um, this fence so i planted uh just like little handfuls of beans and they're actually these actually popped up uh, really quickly i think thanks to the irrigation system and then in between that i had some uh, pinto beans some old pinto beans and i stuck the, those in between the uh, yard long beans and the malabar spinach and those are actually starting to come up as well so hopefully this fence will be covered pretty soon. That's the goal. I'll show you the, uh, the pepper bed. All the peppers are doing really well. Um, they're actually, you know, flowering. Some of them, these are my Edgevarsky peppers that I started myself. 
from seeds. And when I put them in the ground, they were they were kind of hurting because I left them too long in the the seed starting tray. And uh, but they, they they've uh, bounced back uh, really well. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having some Ajvarski peppers this year. Kind of missed out last year, uh, just on the, you know didn't have time to uh, start them. These are all the peppers that I uh, bought from the store. I actually lost one of the peppers from the store. It was right here. So I ended up putting a, a leftover Edjavarsky pepper right there. Hey, you better not mess up my peppers, buddy. Pepper. That's the cat's name. His, cat, his name is Pepper. Don't mess up the peppers, Pepper. Hey, 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 hey. come on. <laughs> He'll start rolling around on the plants if I don't... Uh, Shoot him out of there. Hey, you better get out of there, bud. But yeah, everything's looking good here. At the end of the pepper bed, I have uh, bush beans planted. And uh, those are going to start giving uh, beans as well. They're getting to the point where they're going to start. Yeah, they're starting to flower. Um, I did lose some bush beans due to the uh, kitties digging in here and doing their business. So I ended up planting some more right there. And those should fill in the gaps. So here's my uh, melon uh, trellis and growing area. Now, originally, I planted mountain honey cantaloupes in here, and um, they didn't do that good. They didn't germinate very well. I think it's because of the you know the hand watering. I wasn't soaking it enough to get them to germinate. And I had a few of them come up, and the cats killed some of them, and then um, some the pests kind of got to. Uh, some of the melon plants over here. So I ended up just redoing this. Um, I went to the nursery, our local nursery, and uh, you know, got got some new melon plants. And uh, yeah, they're doing really well. Um, pretty soon, I'm gonna have to start training these uh, up the trellis. You can see this one's already starting to put out its little uh, little grabbers, and those things will wrap around and tie. It'll actually tie itself to the uh, the wire remesh here. So yesterday, I put together, finally, put together the tomato cages. Uh, this is a cage I built um, a couple years ago, and I had laying around uh, repurposing that. I just uh, staked it to the ground with these, uh, you know, leftover pieces of copper pipe that I had from a job. And uh, that should be good to, you know, hold my, my uh, tomato up. And then this one here, I made a, a circular shape with the remesh. And I just uh, tie-wired it together with some uh, copper electrical wire and, uh, and some, uh, you know, copper pipes holding it in the ground and some, you know, concrete stakes. And that should be pretty sturdy for that tomato. Usually my tomatoes uh, will grow all the way to the top of these uh, tomato cages. So they have to be pretty sturdy to withstand, you know, that, that weight. It gets pretty heavy. It's pretty amazing. Um, but we'll see what happens this year. This is a new, uh, new garden and new soil. So it, it, should, uh, it should get there. <laughs> I'm working hard to get them to grow good. All right, so what else? We've got the bean teepee. The beans around the teepee are actually starting to climb as well. Um, I've, been trying, I've been trying to help them out by kind of tying them a little bit with some uh, twine just to get them, get them growing in the right direction. So there's the teepee. Uh, all my tomatoes are doing really well. Um, I've been uh, training them up this trellis. I tie them as well. And uh, I prune off any uh, suckers so that they're not, you know, crowding each other um, on the trellis. Tomatoes are usually pretty easy to grow. I don't really have a lot of problems with tomatoes. It's usually uh, beans and melons I have the most issues with. Um, peppers are easy to grow as well. Uh, so there's my kale plants. The kale is looking actually really good. Um, not a lot of pest uh, damage on it. My eggplants, they're uh, doing uh, really good as well. Last, the last week or two, they've really perked up and uh, yeah, they're looking really healthy. Give you a shot.
And then the final thing is the uh, zucchini plants. They're just starting to give zucchini. So I'm gonna harvest um, the zucchini. And I'm actually, <laughs> what sucks is I'm not gonna be able to eat them because we're gonna be on vacation. So I'm gonna give them to the neighbor uh, so they can uh, enjoy them. So let's uh, take a look at the zucchini. That's a nice, this nice big one. Let's, let's twist that one off. Look at that! First of the first of, first of the season. I'll twist that one off. This one will probably be ready uh, when we come back. Let's see if this one has any on it. This one, um, no, it has some small ones. Those can stay. Yeah, zucchini is usually the first thing uh, to. Uh, come up in the garden and give uh, give fruit um, what else oh yeah you know what over here I wanted to show you I have some uh, peppers actually that are almost ready as well these are the um, sweet banana peppers and they're actually doing really well they've got a lot of peppers on them and flowers so when we come back we'll be enjoying those as well Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for uh, the garden. Um, what else is new? I think, oh yeah, there's one more thing I'll show you that I added. I added a basil plant because <laughs> I know the kids like to come out and my kids will come out and take handfuls of this and break it off and eat it. And uh, they really enjoy that. They're a little bit more hardcore than I am. I like to take this and maybe mix it in, you know, my food or like make a pesto or something with it. So I think that's enough for today. On my next episode, I'll be giving you another update and showing you how the garden is doing. And let me just say, the garden is starting to get huge. So before you end this video, I need another favor from you. Can you please like this video and share it? Also click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on my latest garden videos. And with that said, I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. And oh yeah, don't forget to check out my other videos here.